So we have uh, uh, Mr. Daryl King, uh, and Daryl is going to be talking to us about Realtors Roadmap uh, to Success in 2020 uh, Crisis. A little bit of housekeeping, uh, whatever questions you have uh, regarding tonight's uh, webinar, uh, please post your questions on urock365.com. And if it is related to real estate, you know, you can uh, go to the website urock365.com and uh, post your questions. If it is related to real estate, you can click on the black button, pre-construction on the red button, or if it's just realtors in question, then click on the blue button. So these are the questions that you can post on the website. Uh, we want to thank, we want to thank our sponsors, uh, Mr. Pat Javdan, uh, broker of record of United Realty of Canada for making this uh, webinar series uh, accessible to us. And Dr. Alex Ahanchin, general manager of United Realty of uh, Canada. We also want to thank another sponsor of ours, Mr. Douglas Gray. He is the author of What the Financial Institutions Are Not Telling You. So if you want a copy of this book, you can go to the United Realty of Canada's website and you know register there, and then we can mail you the book. Nice. And uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Mr. Daryl King. Uh, Mr. Daryl King, you know, he's been in the real estate business for more than 30 years, and he is one of the top realtors in Toronto and the York region. He is very passionate about real estate and helping his clients, both buyers and sellers. And of course, you can see a lot of his listings all across the GTA. So I want to give the microphone to Pat, and Pat can start the interview with uh, Pat, you can start the interview mm -hmm. with uh, Daryl King right now. Go ahead, Pat. Thank you, Thank you so much, Jay. Uh, I, uh, I hope everybody's safe and healthy and positive these days. And before I start, I'd like to mention those people, those realtors or people who, hasn't, who have not seen uh, our previous uh, webinars and training, they can go to FinPlus365 TV on YouTube channel, or you can go to my YouTube channel, Pat Jardin, YouTube, or you can go to United Realty of Canada YouTube channel, or you can go to our social media, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, they can see uh, previous uh, sessions. Now, uh, also we have Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. And next Wednesday, we're gonna have uh, Mr. Colin Sprague, that he's a very good motivational speaker. That's gonna be our guest next Wednesday. So he has a six days plan how to survive and thrive in this crisis. Now, unfortunately, uh, Al Sinclair couldn't make it tonight. So he was also a guest for tonight. He couldn't make it. And, uh, but also I asked Mr. Taraz, he, he's a, a chartered professional accountant. I don't know if he's here or not. So he's gonna, if tonight, a little bit maybe talk about the, this new benefit that governments offer to people or if he's not, tonight, he's not here tonight, Friday definitely he's gonna come and explain all details how people can apply. Realtors, self-employed, business owners, and they can uh, use this information. Now again, thank you. Thank you, Daryl. Uh, you, uh, you accepted our invitation. So we can pick your brain today. And uh, so everybody can uh, survive and thrive in this, uh, terrible condition crisis. So my first question is, uh, what is your view of a uh, view of a state of real estate market in general these days? Well, you know, Pat, it's, it's going to be a little unsettling for a while because, you know, it, I worked through SARS in 2003. Mm -hmm. Now SARS was the worst pandemic or real big virus that we had and that was worldwide but you know in comparison to COVID-19 it was a much smaller you know mm -hmm. I remember you know I, I the epidemic center here was at the Grace Hospital out in Scarborough mm -hmm. and I had a lot of my clients who were doctors and nurses that work in there at that time and it was very frightening at that time going through you know, I think it was about 700 deaths Mm -hmm. But if you take that into comparison to what is happening now worldwide, it is is just unbelievable mm -hmm. that something of this magnitude, mm -hmm. you know, in all of our lifetimes, none of us experienced this. You know, you had the Great Depression, 
you had the financial crashes, you had so many other things before this, but nothing of this magnitude. So really right now we're all pioneers mm -hmm. and you know, everybody can prove to be an expert. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had someone, I, I, you know, I was, you know, doing a thing on the, the statistics from March of 2020 to March of 219. And the guy goes on there and he's, he was an ex realtor only for a couple of years and some other things, whatever. And he says, Oh, that's a bunch of bull or whatever the case might be. And mm -hmm. so, you know, sometimes I might ignore those things, but this was on my LinkedIn and I responded back with, I said, listen, he says, I, he's, cause I said, well, we're just in the middle, but that was in the middle of the month. So the first two weeks of March were really not a little bit COVID. The back two weeks were more COVID affected. So the first two weeks, January and February, were on fire in the real estate market. The next two weeks of March were still very active. And the last two weeks of March were active, but you know, showings have dropped by at least 50%. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's still sales. There's still sales to this moment. Mm -hmm. So I said to this gentleman, I said, you know, if, if you're gonna comment, if you have some facts that you care to share with us, I'd be happy for you to share it with us and we'll share it with everybody else. But you're just talking a bunch of nonsense. So the first thing I would tell anybody here or anywhere is to be careful on who you're gonna listen to because mm -hmm. there's a lot of doomsayers out there and you know, they're gonna say, oh yeah, we said this was coming and the market is gonna crash and you know, there is going to be lots of uncertainties. There's going to be a lot of challenges. Um, is it going to be easy? No. But if everybody works together versus against each other, <laughs> we can get through this market. And you got to realize, there's, that's why, you know, the government, you know, made us essential. Real estate is one of the most essential things that you're going to deal with. You know, I've been doing this 35 years. I have sold over 10,000 families to home. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm not quite a rookie at this. So, you know, do I know everything? No, I don't claim to know everything, but I do have ideas. I do have thoughts. I speak to a lot of people that are very influential and, and, and what's going on. And so, you know, the main thing right now, what I would tell anybody is to remain calm. Mm -hmm. I mean, your anxiety, mm -hmm and your stress levels are not going to help you. They're not going to help your family. They're not going to help your coworkers. They're not going to help your clients. It's just going to cause more chaos. So it has to start from within. The most important thing that you can do right now is you have to be positive. You have to be inspiring. You have to be caring. You have to be kind. You know, and, and, you know, most people's stress levels are fairly high right now. So, you know, people are, are, you know, say locked up at home, but I mean, there's worse places you could be locked up. You could be locked up in jail. Mm -hmm. You know, some of these other places that are even worse than that. So, you know, we have a roof over our head. We've got running water. We do have some food still. You know, so for the most part, things are still good. We just have to be very cautious. We've got to cut the, the curve. Is that's why the government is, is really cracking down that, you know, trying to keep people from wandering all over the place and freely. You know, in some, in some parts of China already, I was seeing something earlier today, and I, I just about now, Apple has opened up 32 stores in China already and they're back full, full back to work. You know, a lot of businesses are back to work and, you know, a lot of the, the countries in China, they're allowed out still and they can go out there and, you know, they're not allowed big groups at, as a whole, what I thought anyway, because it was only like in Shanghai, Beijing and that, it's only supposed to be five people and you go through a heat monitor just to check you out. But I, I was looking on something today on the news and they had this tourist place with this mountain, 20,000 people. There had to have been 50,000 people at this place. It was just totally bedlam, you know, shots in Hong Kong. I mean, they stopped all foreigners from flying into Hong Kong today. But in the, the nice shopping areas of Hong Kong, they were packed with people. So the people already, you know, they were ahead of the curve where we were at. So, you know, 
the duration for this, I, I'm figuring is probably two months minimum, and it, it may be longer. Uh, there's no there's no real time limit to how long this is going to last. It's it's a it's a guessing game, but the government is 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 trying to, you know, impose everybody off the streets. You know, they closed off the lakeshore where there are thousands of people that go walking around there, you know, in this nice weather. So they're not going to be allowed to go walk in big groups and stuff. So, you know, things will change, but you know. Interest rates are, are become very, very low. The mortgage stress rules that they've lightened up. And now they're 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 you know trying to the investors are coming back out into the marketplace and, and, and looking for, for things. So there's still someone has to buy, still someone has to sell. Um, will it be business as usual? No, it's not gonna be business as usual. It'll be anything. Hi Alex, how are you? Alex. I don't think Alex. we can hear you. Okay. So anyway, um, you know, it's not business as usual. This is going to be the new form of real estate. And, and basically, we need to adjust. If we don't change, everything else is going to change around us. So, you know, we're doing the Zoom, you know, Pat. You know, we've never done a mm -hmm. Zoom thing together. Mm -hmm. So now, you know, you called me up in short notice and I filled in and we're doing thank you thank you by the way thank you that's, that's okay you know what i'm i'm always got something to say so it, it's uh you know I, I can always speak so so you know coming with zoom so this has already changed already mm -hmm. you know all around you know all our remax hallmark meetings all zoom my office meetings all zoom right now mm -hmm. tomorrow i'll have a, a zoom meeting at 10 o'clock with my my team you know so, you know, there's many other things besides Zoom. There's Google, there's Messenger, you know, mm -hmm. there's Bomb Bomb. I mean, so th this is probably what we know of as the most inexpensive. And I, I was watching something on the news and you just, I guess, really have to watch security. And I know Zoom is working on that to make sure you don't get pop people just bombing in there and, and mm -hmm. bombing you on your mm -hmm. Zoom thing. And I guess passwords, whatever. I took a picture of it this morning and I got to write it down later on and see exactly what those are. So, you know, you know, so yeah, there's, there's going to be a fair amount of changes and, and we need to be prepared and, and, and really adapt fairly quickly with the changes. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, Daryl, this, this crisis, how uh, has affected your team or your uh, routine, daily routine? Because well, you're very successful, we're going to learn from you how this affected your team. Well, you know, it, it's, um, I would say it's affected it dramatically, Pat, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because, you know, two weeks ago, I ordered all, all my team not to come into the office anymore. Mm -hmm. So basically, the office is, is shut down. So I'm there every day. I'm there with uh, my, my personal assistant and one of the, the, the other girls on the front desk. And we're, uh, you know, we have a marketing person that's still working also full time that, um, you know, that's doing it from home and that. So, you know, from having, you know, 60 or 70 people into an office, we're down to three. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a, it's a very drastic change. I go there from nine o'clock to 530 every single day. And, you know, I'm trying to handle the clients because there's a lot of things coming up with closings and changes mm -hmm. and different things. I had a, a lady that I sold the house back in January. I sold it for around 70,000 over asking price in, in three days. So unfortunately she went on a holiday to Cuba had nothing to do with COVID-19, but I guess some accident happened mm -hmm. there. We're supposed mm -hmm. to close today. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the lawyer said, no, we can't close. We need to wait to probate because if the guys closed today, they couldn't get title insurance. Mm -hmm. And if someone came back, they would have to look after it. So needless to say, the buyers want to move in there today. They, they mm -hmm. would have extended one week only, but they want to get in immediately and, and one week extension. So, you know, we had to release them out of the offer. There was no other option. So mm -hmm. it's going back onto the market on Wednesday, mm -hmm. right? 
And will I get multiple offers there? Um, we'll see. I, I, I believe I will. I mean, I sold it for a million sixty-five. I'm going to put it at a million ninety-nine right now because mm -hmm. from January to April, the market went up quite a bit at that point in time. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, think the prices may slide a bit, but I had another one I listed the other day. I listed at one point two five eight, and it sold with three offers, and there was I think more coming in for forty-two thousand over for one point three mm -hmm. firm, no condition. So, you know, I, another one, we sold 32,000 over in, in four or five days, which was in a highest price. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a lack of inventory on the market right now. Mm -hmm. So if you have a good listing and if it's priced correctly mm -hmm. and you have a good virtual tour or, you know, Matterport, some, something good that, you know, walk through whatever that people come through because my listings now pretty much, all, not all of them, but most of them, have gone to virtual. We mm -hmm. still have a few clients in that are allowing showings, but they got to go through very strict guidelines to get into these properties. So, you know, they have to go through the virtual tour, the feature sheet, and, and you know, they still got to be interested. They got to make sure they haven't traveled in two weeks. They have to make sure they haven't got any cough, cold, or flu, or been around anybody with any of these symptoms. Mm -hmm. So I had one of my agents send something to me today from one of the other brokers, and they want to go see this horse farm. Mm -hmm. So the broker wanted to know all the name. And I said, well, they can't give you the name. That's under the Privacy Act. We're not going to give you the name of the people. Mm -hmm. So they want us to sign a, a COVID-19 release form that, you know, so I looked over the form. And actually, my forms that we have are a little more strict than that. If you want them, I can send them to you tomorrow, Pat. Thanks. So anyway, mm -hmm. um, Anyway, we're, we're pretty much stopping all showings regardless, so it's, it'll be irrelevant. But anyway, so people are taking stricter and stricter mm -hmm. measures. Like, you know, a lot of the condos downtown, you can't even come into mm -hmm. them anymore, right? So, you know, and here's what the, the buyers are going to have to adapt to. You know, you buy a new condo. Do you see that condo? No. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a paper. Mm -hmm. You know, you buy a new house. It's a paper. He's Hi there. <laughs> so, so what happens is that people will, will adapt and, 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 and train themselves that they'll have to buy virtual. Listen, for condos, the building's there and they can go see whatever. But for houses, if people want to drive by and look around and you can even ask the seller if you mind them walking around the outside, you know, they may let them walk around outside, mm -hmm. you know, but... Yeah. It will change and people will adapt to that. Yeah. So we're used to one way of doing business and that's, you know, maybe they came to open house and they made appointments. Mm -hmm. Now it's going to be done different. Mm -hmm. We'll adapt. Yeah, Daryl, uh, many buyers and many, many sellers are confused right now. What suggestion do you have for them, for sellers, what they should do, or buyers at this time? Here, here's what I, I would say, Pat. You know, if you don't have to sell, maybe I might wait, mm -hmm. you know. But again, you know, you might want to sell. I mean, there's going to be certain buyers that have to sell, and there's going to be certain buyers that want to buy. Mm -hmm. and, you know, if you're just looking for a needle in a haystack, I would probably tell you maybe to wait. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, you think of the lack of inventory that's on the market today and, you know, if you're a seller, I'm thinking, okay, I'm not going to have as many buyers, but the buyers that I have are going to be very, very serious also. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's still going to hold the price up. Like interest rates are like really at one of the, an all-time low. You know, the market stress rules have, have slackened off substantially. So, you know, they, you know, they're getting divorced, they're losing their, you know, some people have lost their jobs, someone's died. I mean, there's many reasons. You know, I just had one, the people are from Sarnia, and um, the guy's sister died. It had nothing again to do with COVID-19. Mm -hmm. She's just an older woman. I guess she fell in the house, banged her head, and she died in the house. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I had my contractor, go, they met, came from Sarnia, my contractor went and met them. They're going to do some work in the house. We'll put that on the market. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So there is people that have to sell. Mm -hmm. So sell. And then there's people that, hey, I have a smaller house. I need to get a bigger house. I'm having more kids mm -hmm. or more families coming in. Mm -hmm. So go buy, right? Just take very, very strong precautions. Like I said, today we can pretty much do it mm -hmm. virtually. And if you're not doing it virtually, you're not being safe to your clients and you're not being safe to, to yourself mm -hmm. and everybody else. So, you know, just learn to adapt. Uh -huh. uh, you know, many realtors, they don't have a team. They don't have a, yes. you know, database. They don't have, you know, they are new or they are new in the business. And uh, all the time they're asking, what should I do? How do I do it? I want to work with this situation. Tell me how can I work in this situation? What, do you, what suggestion do you have for those realtors? Well, well, the, 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 the difference is today, even with myself, like this is, you know, spring market typically. Mm. And I'm a fairly aggressive team. Myself is aggressive. My team is aggressive. But I'm not allowing any of us to be aggressive. Mm -hmm. Right now, my, my first and foremost is to look after my clients that have to close mm -hmm. their house so we're working on that continuously to to make sure that they can follow up with closing their house and maintaining that mm -hmm. you know we have other clients that are on the market so we got to make sure that you know we're still marketing their house so we're making sure we're doing lots of digital marketing stuff for them um and really you know i'm, I'm changing you know a lot of my my advertising marketing it's mm -hmm. not you know, it's if you have questions or concerns about COVID-19, call mm -hmm. us. We'd be happy mm -hmm. to help you out. You know, if you have to sell your house, mm -hmm. we'd be happy to help you out. You, you know, you need to purchase. We'd be happy to help you out. So we're taking away that real aggressive salesy mm -hmm. thing because to me that's, it's, you know, we can't, do, you know, the Rico and Trev has outlawed us from doing open houses. And I say thank mm -hmm. God to that, right? Mm -hmm. You know. You're not allowed to go door knocking, mm -hmm. you know, like my guys would be out hitting a whole subdivision door knocking. So, you know, we're, we're not going to be able to do that right now. So mm -hmm. we've got to look for different ways and different means that, you know, so what I, I suggest is everybody knows somebody. So mm -hmm. really come from helping somebody, mm -hmm. right? You know, I just I just had posted this just a little bit before my meeting. Let me just see what this mm -hmm. says on my post. Because if anyone follows me on Facebook, helping others, encouraging others are often acts of kindness that have meaning that you may not realize. So let's get into the habit of helping others. Encouragement, mm -hmm. kindness, seeing what you can do. Mm -hmm. A call, a text, an email, whatever it may take to help someone we're all in this together mm -hmm. so i'm no different than anybody else that's here trust mm -hmm. me you know i have an older single mother that's 83 right she's mm -hmm. on her own i have a brother with you know his family and their families and their families right i have a sister with their families and then i have mm -hmm. relatives and i have all my my co-workers and my employees right so I'm no different than anybody else. I'm the same. I'm going to bleed. I'm going to hurt. I'm going to be in pain. I have sorrow. So you have to come from empathy. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, we have to get real. You know, we don't know how long this is going to last. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, you know I, I try and pick up supplies for different people. And, you know, I don't take them in their door, but I'll, I'll go pick certain things up if I can get them and go deliver them to someone's house or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, you know, lots of times when I talk to people, mm -hmm. I ask them, you know, how I can help you, you know, more mm -hmm. importantly, not how they can help me, how I can help them, right? What do they need from me? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I still let them know I'm involved in real estate. Right. I mean, most people know who I am, mm -hmm. So, but I'm not asking for the business. If they need help with it, I'm going to be there for them 100%. Mm -hmm. So you need to change your train of thought and it's all about attitude mindset mm -hmm. and how you treat people right now mm -hmm. is going to be the biggest thing. This mm -hmm. is a whole new beginning. You know, I've been, you know, when I started real estate interest rates were 21%, mm -hmm. you know, my very first year in the business, which is I, I got licensed in June. So it was only basically a six month year. I sold 26 or 27 homes that year. 
Mm -hmm. Most agents would be lucky to sell three. Mm -hmm. But because I had a mindset and I had a thinking of outside the box and being different than anybody else and knowing certain things, I, I was the top agent in the office and, and made the top 100 in the country. Mm -hmm. So, you know, what, what can you do now? You need to, you know, for someone new, they don't have the old habits like, like you and I would have. Mm -hmm. you, know, uh, you know, people that have been in the business five and ten years, we, we may have created bad habits. Mm -hmm. So these new people don't know any better. They don't have those bad habits. So this is their opportunity to be the next mm -hmm. Daryl King or Pat or some other big agent out there. This is their mm -hmm. opportunity. There's going to be a lot of changes and a lot of people are going to come out a lot differently. Right. Mm -hmm. Some people are going to have expansional growth. Some people are you're going to just run and hide. But, you know, this is not the time to run and hide. You mm -hmm. know, if you go on and you see on my videos, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be out there to, to give information or to help people. That's when you ask me if I want to come on and do this. I mm -hmm. said, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and it, it's, you know, tonight at 730. Well, you know, that was that inconvenient for me. It doesn't matter. I made, made it important to me mm -hmm. to share with anybody that's here. If mm -hmm. I can just change one person's life mm -hmm. and their thought process and make them a better person and help them to succeed or mm -hmm. do something of kindness, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. what you do in here, Pat, and all the sponsors mm -hmm. and, and, and the manager, whoever is involved in this, then you've done the right thing. Mm -hmm. So it's doing the right thing and, and doing that for everybody, which is most important. Mm -hmm. You think of others before you think of yourself mm -hmm. you're gonna succeed mm -hmm. I, I my father was my mentor my coach he was my everything he died four or five years ago and you know when I spoke with Tony Robbins you know when I did the the, the power of success that was just months after my father died and we had 6,000 people there and I had dedicated my, my talk towards my father mm -hmm. and, and you know I've always had a program for the royal treatment so, you know, my last name being King, so that's an easy program mm -hmm. for me to have. Mm -hmm. but it was always, you know, mm -hmm. it was always treating others like family. Mm -hmm. So if you treat them well and give it your heart, give it your soul, and give it your best, they'll remember that. Mm -hmm. So the things that you do now, so for a new agent, yeah, maybe you're just going to have to ride the storm out. But you may come out of the storm on a speedboat. Mm -hmm not come out of it on a sailboat you might come out in a speedboat because you can learn the correct things and the positive things that are are going to make you a winner mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of people you know there's 55,000 agents for the Toronto real estate board pack mm -hmm. we're going to lose a lot of them mm -hmm. so that's a good thing mm -hmm. because there's too many agents and no disrespect to any agent. If you're working, you're, you're committed and dedicated, you know, God bless you. you, you you're out here to make a living in and help people. Mm -hmm. A lot of people that shouldn't be involved in real estate. So we're, we're going to weed a lot of those people out, Ralph. And in a lot of businesses, if they're not strong, unfortunately, they're going to be closing their doors. So, you know, I feel bad for an awful lot of people because we look around, there's an awful lot of people that have lost their jobs. I had the lady that wanted to buy this property that I'm talking about. And I, I, you know, I called her right away. And she said, unfortunately, she's in the health business or something. I don't know exactly what it is. And I called her today, just a few hours ago. And I said, oh, you know what happened to your, because it's the neighbor of my client. I said, you know, you heard of what happened. You know, she died in whatever the case we talked about it. And I said, well, I put it back onto the market on Wednesday. And if you want to, you know, put an offering, you're more than welcome to put an offering. And she'd, she'd love to, but unfortunately, she lost her job. She's mm -hmm. late. And then she went on to tell me she may not get it back. So, you know, she may have to relocate somewhere else, she told me. Maybe not to where she lives now. Mm -hmm. She may have to relocate for another job. So there's going to be a lot of changes. And, and some is good and some is bad. You know, one of the things that I had here that is, is following what's going on, I would rather miss my family and friends for a few months than to never see them again. So, you know, stay at home. You know, I go to the office. I don't go anywhere else. The door is locked. A couple of my agents will drop in. There's an outbox for them. 
they're not allowed in the office under any circumstance. Mm -hmm. Some of the other office managers come by, they drop something in the out inbox. They don't, they're not allowed, mm -hmm. to even, the door is locked, the three of us are in there. So mm -hmm. we have to take all the safety precautions that are, are available for all of us, right? Yeah. Uh, Dar, let me ask Jay, Jay, how long we have left? We have another uh, four minutes. Four minutes, oh, uh, not so much. Uh, Daryl, thank you so much for your insight. That was very powerful. I really, really appreciate your thoughts. That was very positive and very caring. Uh, can we uh, ask you in future, come to our webinar again? Absolutely, Pat, my okay. pleasure. Thank you I so much. Because uh, Mr. Charles uh, is here and he's gonna give us a few minutes about uh, the, this uh, new uh, benefits from government. Also, he's going to come back on Friday. So if it's okay, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Taraz, uh, welcome him and uh, start his uh, comments about this new benefit from government. Yeah. Hi, everybody. First of all, I want to thank you, Daryl. It was very inspiring and very heartwarming for us in these tough situations. Yeah, very if tough situation can, for everybody, yes. But for everybody. Um, and, but uh, let's get back to tax, uh, who is another major issue for the people, individuals, self-employed, business owners, and everybody. <clears throat> so the government has uh, introduced the package that called um, CERB, which is a Canada Benefit Plan for all Canadians. Uh, so the issue is that it has started today and people can benefit from this program uh, effective today and they have in a schedule this program for applying, uh, filling out the application uh, from today by the, the date of the birth for the people who are in January, February, March they, can, they could have applied today and tomorrow the, the sequence goes up. Mm -hmm. So this is a very good program for now. I, I, I'm sure that it's not enough, but the, I believe that government did the best job that they could. So this program literally covers individuals, businesses, and industries. Mm -hmm. uh, on Friday, we are going to go to the, in details mm -hmm. and talk about the Canada Emergency Response Plan also, we are going to talk about a detail. I'm going to give a detailed walkthrough of the 10% wage subsidy, also the 75% subsidy later introduced by the government. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we are going to talk about how to maximize, maximize the use of the wage uh, subsidies for the employers, understanding the Real, what's the meaning of the, this Canada emergency plan, and also uh, update on deferred tax deadlines and uh, deadlines for the payments. Mm -hmm. So uh, today I'm not, not going to speak a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, we, I, I just wanted to brief everybody that on Friday we really would have a very useful um, conversation about the the Canada benefit plans and the subsidies that the government provided with a solid tax plan to maximize the use of these subsidies. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Tara. So welcome. I want to mention that we have Wednesday at 8 p.m. another uh, interview and also Friday with Mr. Tara at 8 p.m. So Jay, if you have any comments, you know, we can uh, finish this webinar. Yes, we can definitely finish the webinars. I wanted everybody, Mr. Daryl King and Mr. Taras, thank you very much for participating in this yeah. interview with us today. Uh, I want all the participants to know that this interview is recorded and we are going to post it live on the United Realty Canada website, urock365.com. If mm -hmm. you have any questions, go to the website and post your questions over there, whether it is with real estate pre-construction or just real estate as realtors, post your questions there and somebody from the office will respond back to you. Mm -hmm. So again, uh, thank you very much. And